inspired by the death of the mining towns in Zimbabwe, Finding Timorare is a story of those lives that were affected and how the mighty can fall. To tell us more about this confronting new play, please welcome to the cafe Tawanda Manimo, Stanley Makue and Sandra Janika. Welcome guys. Yes, welcome. Um, Stanley, let's start with you. When is the place set and was it a real pivotal time in Zimbabwe history? Definitely, yes. It's, uh, it's set in the early 2000s, which is uh, a really big, 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 big moment for, uh, for Zimbabwe. I think that was about the time that I got my $20 million Zimbabwe note or something. Somebody had been in Zimbabwe and gave me that was true, right? Currency valued at nothing. Um, yeah. At that time, we were moving towards that. But yeah. it was yeah. the beginning of the... Uh, the, the big mighty fall, I would mm -hmm. say. Yeah. Yeah. And speaking yeah. of the fall, Tawanda, yeah. you yeah. play the leading man uh, who has a large fall from grace. What's his story? Well, I mean, it, it is a story of redemption um, because this guy basically made a woman pregnant and uh, didn't recognize or didn't, you know, um, refuse to recognize the fact that it was his baby. Um, so obviously um, the woman comes back and it's like uh, he's being visited by, by the demons of his past. Yeah? Mm. Um, and he's got to basically face, face that to hopefully move on in life. Wow. Now, Sandra, your role in the show is particularly full on. Tell me a little bit about that. Oh, so um, <laughs> I play the character Primrose, and she is the woman who's come back to confront um, the character Timuria. And um, essentially, it is a whole hour of every emotion you can possibly wow. think of. Um, there's rage, there is sadness, there is regret, there's um, love, there's... Um, yeah, the whole gamut. Laughter as well. Is that actually. exhausting? Are you physically exhausted at the end of the show? Uh, yes, I will be. <laughs> yes. And I guess at that time too, it was very male dominated, wasn't it? So yes. is this a good way to express or tell the story of a woman in that time? Absolutely. And I think that the um, greatest part of it is that it's really Timuria's story told through my character. And so it is sort of women um, stepping up and kind of mm. going, well, actually. <laughs> well, hang on just a moment there. Yes. Um, Stanley, <laughs> the Racial divide was obviously a big problem too. Yeah. Is that addressed? It is. Uh, it is strongly addressed, but uh, in a subtle way, I would say, because mm -hmm. um, I, I, I grew up in that environment where there was a big racial divide uh, at that time in Zimbabwe. So, uh, so it definitely we have the um, undertones of uh, uh, racial, um, I would say, apartheid mm -hmm. sort of thing. Yeah. And Tawanda, how did all you guys come together to create this? Uh, I've known Stanley for a while now. We did a, we did a show a few years ago um, uh, in Auckland, and then we, he wrote this script, and he sent it to me, and I was like, oh, I love it. Let's do it. Um, so we actually did it at Mangri Arts Centre first. So this is our second go. Nice. And then uh, the basement kind of picked it up. Um, and then we, we looked for an actress, and we found Sandra. She's just fantastic. <laughs> Um, yeah, and, and keep going. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess that's a good sign if the basement pick it up. I mean, that yeah. must have felt like an honour that you've oh, done something yeah. that's compelling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, basically. And, and uh, you know, Sandra said it, it's an hour of um, a lot of emotions, and it, it, it is exhausting. And um, but at the same time, it's not entirely too dark. There are some light moments in there, but you know, I think um, the audiences did um, connect with it. Sandra, yeah. why do you think the story is so important to share? Um, because it, um, it's a story of, it talks about women and, and um, women being, I, I keep saying this phrase, agents of their own bodies. Mm. Um, um, and this character is a, is a woman who essentially wasn't allowed to make a decision about what happened to her body. And I think it's really important mm. to put that message across to people that, you know, we are individuals, even though we're females, we can actually, you mm. know, make decisions about what we do with mm. ourselves and our lives and what that looks like without society deciding for mm. us what we ought to be doing, which is um, a big thing in Zimbabwe. Yeah. And, and I guess set at the right time right now, because there is still a lot of change going on towards, you know, attitudes with women in some parts of the world, you mm. know, like we've seen in Dubai recently. Oh, yes. you're allowed to drive a car. Yeah, Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia. <laughs> Saudi Arabia, yeah. Saudi Arabia, yeah. yeah. 17, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. which is crazy. Yeah. Okay, cool. Now, I was just thinking, to wonder, a lot of people will probably be sitting there thinking, how do I know this guy? Uh, so you'll be Did working... With him, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So tell me about working on this movie with Scarlett. It was the show. Yeah. yeah, no, it was it was it was an amazing opportunity for me to uh, to do some some work uh, in a Hollywood film. Yeah, um, it was incredible. Um, I was, I'm very grateful to have had that experience. You know, this film took me took us to we filmed in Wellington for about four months, and then we went to Hong Kong. We filmed there for about a month, came back to New Zealand, and then they sent us to LA to do some reshoots. So. You know, and I, I went and shot at Sony Studios where all the, you know, amazing classic films have been done and I'm standing there going, wow, 
Really? <laughs> what a story. Me? That could be the next play. <laughs> like, you're all yeah, right. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> and you're all based in, in New Zealand now, aren't you? Yes. Yeah. So how, what about the art scene here? How do you find it? Uh, from my side, uh, I find the arts really great here. Mm. And uh, there are opportunities for everyone, I would say. Um, uh, they had challenges, difficult moments. But I think if you have the determination, yeah. you want to show that you can do it, the people are really accepting and they will support you. Now come and see yeah. a show. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully, yeah. Yeah, Hopefully, no, yeah. it sounds incredible. Best yeah. of luck. I know it's round two, but uh, it sounds yeah. like you're going to get a whole lot of people to learn a lot about history as well, exactly. which is really important. Yeah. See some top yeah. quality performances. Oh, yeah. Thanks, guys. Yeah. Thank you so Thank much. You. Thank you very yeah. much. Yeah. Really Thank appreciate you us. coming in. Yeah. Yeah. Now, Finding yeah. Timaraya opens on October the 17th at the Basement Theatre. If you want all the ticket details, go to iticket.co.nz.